My name is Soda, and um, I play volleyball academy for five years. I can't live without this game, and I'll be teaching you how to play this game. So, uh, the mechanics. So for serving, um, you want to kind of aim above the net. Where you aim is where the ball is going to go. For example, I aim that way, the ball will go straight where I'm facing. If I have my mouse above the net, jump and left click, it will go above the net. Based on how much power you put or how long you hold left click for in the air will determine how far the ball goes. So for example, light. That's about, let's say, three and a half bars didn't go over. More power this time. Aim above the net, serve. So as you can see here, I released the ball, aimed it full power above the net, and that lands. So for receiving, you just hold right click and then left click. Hold right click, left click. And you want to time the ball when it comes towards you. Like that. Like that. Hold right click, then left click. Right click, left click. Right click, left click. Okay, so here's a couple of examples in game uh, for receiving so so first we have serve receive yep okay let's see see here's a mistake the other this guy made right so the ball is coming at him he you could see that he has his right click out and then left clicked already but the issue is it goes over the net but scores a point so you got to really control your left click in order to kind of dictate how the ball goes, how further out the ball goes. Here's another example of a serve receive. See, let's replay that real quick. This person already, this my my guy Drip Milk, he has his right click out already. And the ball comes towards him. Look at him. He's right there where the ball is going to land. He kind of predicts where the area of the ball is going to land. Comes right to him. He releases his left click, he holds it for a bit before, around here, he holds it for a little bit. Left click releases, goes up perfectly to the setter, and then setter apes. Really quick attack, hits. Day already is in position, predicts where the spike is going to be. Hold his right click out, releases, hold left click when the ball is about to be spiked and releases it towards the setter. Perfect receive, and uh, yep, right there again. Libero is in position. Let's replay that. He's already there. Has his right click out. Releases the left click right to the setter, and then yep. Here's another example of a good receive. So spiker aims left. So the person already there, waiting for the ball to uh, come towards him. He has his right click out. Left click releases towards the setter, that's perfect. Okay. And diving is Q, so tap it. Let's go straight up. If you're libero, it goes forward. Do it again. Q is a uh, dive. All right, so this is a couple of uh, examples in game on how diving works. So, Right, so setter sets the ball. The spiker aims straight, and I see that, right? I have my hold right click out, ready to receive. But then the ball kind of is a bit farther away from where my where I am right now. So I look towards where the ball is going to land, and I press Q. The setter sets a quick to the outside. Spiker is looking towards a cut. However, I just make the prediction with my stamina bar low. I predict that he was going to aim here and look, he kind of like changes his direction over spiking, kind of just spikes here where I am. 
and kind of just goes straight to where I dove. And it's called basically a pre-dive. I, I predicted where the spike is going to uh, spike, and I just dove before he even the ball landed. Okay, so here's an example of how it would work uh, on a uh, libero. So liberos are pretty uh, unique. So when they dive, the ball kind of goes forward. It basically goes higher when the libero dives. So for example, spiker looks like it's going to aim across. So it does come across. Kind of dove and it just hit. Yep. Kind of goes forward. Replay. Yep, the ball just goes forward. It kind of goes higher as well than a normal dive. Look, that's a V1, spiker hits. I see where the ball is going to land, and I just press Q, and it goes forward. Setting, you don't have to jump, you don't have to press space bar, you just hold left click. It's basically when the ball drops, let it go. How much power you put on the ball is how the type of set's gonna be. Okay, so to better explain about the timing of the set, um, okay, let's look at an example right here in game. So, okay, the spiker receives the ball. So as the ball is, a, when the ball about to drop above, little tiny above the net right here, see the white line, my mouse. So this line right here above the net is where you really want to start um, releasing your left click. It's so right here above the uh, white line right here um, in my avatar. I kind of set it. You have to set it, but the ball. Imagine this a real life volleyball game, and the ball. You're going to set the ball right above your head, and this is where it's going to be. So um, right above my head, I'm going to set the ball. So another example would be the ball is right on level with my avatar, and then I release it. So. Take a look at it again. If you see this, if you pay attention to my um, left side of the screen, there's the, that's my stamina bar. I hold shift and I move in the direction where I want to set the ball. And yeah, okay, so this is another example of how to set. So, and Hold on, give me one sec. Yep, see, see how the ball is right above my hands and I decided to hold sprint on my left side and move in a direction. See how I'm moving with the ball? It, the ball is going to move in the direction that you're moving towards and boom. I brought in. So do basically like a quickly tap. Uh, you just hold A and click instantly. You're not holding anything, you're just clicking left click. Very simple. So the spiker just drops it towards you. And then a brought out is the opposite of brought in. This time you hold you hold um shift. You tap you hold shift and then the direction that you're moving in and you just tap left click. And uh, for the settings, uh, if you go to settings and go to power. These are my powers. My spike is at max, bump is at 25, and set is at 48. But most people like 40 better. This is brought out. Shift, left click, shift, left click, shift, left click, into the direction that you're going towards. Uh, e is the calls if you don't have a mic. So you drag this, click on whatever set you have and just drag towards if you want it right, it will go right. If you want it left, it will just say left. So let's say a medium left. A V1. So V1 is you just set the ball straight up. Straight up. Medium. It's a bit hard, but it's like a, it's like about, shit, hold on. like this like uh it's like how many bars is this like three bars about three bars a little over three bars yeah i would say it's like a slow not too high not too low set gives the spiker time to think 
the last one I would say for beginners is like a sprint medium. It's like a medium, but you just hold sprint on it. You do the same power as a as a regular medium, but you just hold sprint. Taps, hold sprint. Oh shit, that's a bit hot. Hold sprint into the direction you want to set it in. Pretty simple. Uh, that's it for. Next one is blocking. How do you block? So when the spike goes up, you just space bar and right click instead of left click. If you jump and you left click that spike, as I said before, jump, right click. Jump, hold right click. Uh, simple things you could do like middle. Like you could do, um, if you're hitting like this, you could position yourself in a way where you could, um, Make sure that the ball is in. So like if they're if they're cutting, can you cut? You wanna like make sure like you read them you can go in a way where like it could direct itself into the the enemies on the inside. So an example of a good block would be here the setter sets it brought out so the spiker spiker looks like it's going to hit straight, but then he kind of flicks his angle and I jump and kind of angles my block in a way that if he hits my block it won't reflect back out towards him but instead of when he hits it i'm going to angle my block into the enemy's court this way so would be how this setter sets a brought out he's already he's jumping for this guy right here who jumped with him and then he kind of reads him aim straight into the blocker and then lebron picks it up but yeah so another replay on that so he know he might have uh, jumped with the spiker. He might not not have known that it was brought out. But anyways, he jumped with the spiker. The spiker hits. He has nowhere to aim but into the block and how he positioned himself. And then the bro thankfully picks it up. All right. To be honest, um, I don't really know how to explain spiking in a very um, simple term uh, for beginners so if you want to know more about um, how to spike better um, or how to be a more efficient spiker having a high kill percentage in most games then you should probably go and watch some in-depth tutorial about spiking specifically um, my tutorial is just a um, beginner tutorial for people starting to who are interested into learning and how to improve their game. Spiking. Press G to spawn the ball. And then space bar, left click. Space bar, left click. That's how you spike. However, where you're facing is where you're gonna spike. So, space bar, left click. Space bar, left click. This is a straight, you're just aiming straight. Cut, cut, this, this, that's two types of spikes, basically wherever you're aiming, you could also control how hard you press on the left click or hold on the left click is how hard you spike the ball, wait that's out, you gotta control your power, alright, control your power, basically spiking a good example of end game about spiking all right so right here by the other team right so wrecks it so setter jumps kind of aims this way left side of me and i kind of you know was slow to react to it the ball goes already too late nobody was coming there that was that was kind of like a cut to avoid the block so here we go I die by the wreck uh, a dive by the libero. Setter sets a broad out. Spiker jumps for a broad in straight. Goes here for some reason. Um, it was basically free. All I gotta do, and plus all the players are looking this way. And there's no players here, right? So when I see this, I just aim straight. There's nobody there. You gotta aim at the space where there's nobody. And then... Score a point, right? You have to adjust to where the people are, where the block is, where the open space is. So you could decide whether to put how much power, right? So where to aim, the angle of your aims. Right, so here's an example. 
setter sets a um i don't know slow medium this blocker is already up right and the ball is a bit higher than them and i jumped so then so there's a gap right here right so there's a space between the two blockers and since this draw uh, blocker jumped early it dropped before i dropped so and then you see this one blocker solely on this area right here so all i gotta do is aim at this spot right here and which i did i release this it there and the ball kind of just goes to the corner